and we had a gas shortage with lines. And every time we took the tank out, the gas tank was full. Just full. You got to realize in those days, 15, 20 gallons, that's 140 pounds. So I had this young kid trying to take the gas tank out. I couldn't let him do it. I had to get a muscular guy to do it. I mean, that's the little things that you dealt with with, with a chop shop. And we were chopping and chopping. So I said to Charles, you got anybody else? Sometimes I would wind up with extra cars and I didn't want to have any extras around. I did have two big trucks. I could store four, five cars in each truck. So he says, you know what? When you come next week, I'll have this guy come. I'll introduce you. I go, who is it? He says, oh, a friend of mine, Roy. The following week I went over there and he introduced me to DeMayo. I know nothing about this guy. I don't know who he is, what he's doing or where he comes from. So then we start talking. I go, yeah, packages. Uh, what do you want to pay per package? He said, well, if you give me 10 packages a week, I'll give you 600 a package. But normally I pay four to 500. Okay, get, you want a standing order? How many Chevys? How many T-Birds? How many Camaros? How many Oldsmobiles? How many Cadillacs? He said, it doesn't matter. Just give me, I said, I can put five packages in my truck. I'll load the truck up. And we went to this diner where Charles hung out. It was called the Lindenwood Diner. It was on the border of Brooklyn and Queens. I said, I'll bring you the truck. I'll give you a set of keys. Um, you pick up the truck after I drop it off. And the next day, I'll go back and pick it up. It'll be empty. And I always had this habit of buying American locks. It was a big stainless steel lock, large lock. I started using them when, when Foxy and I did heist and we wanted to lock something up. Because you couldn't break the lock, you'd have to get a torch and cut it. So I, I gave him the keys. I brought I brought the first truck over. Boom, he picks up the truck the next day. I go back. And I had I had a um, a beeper number for him. I didn't call him on the phone. He gave me a beeper number. So I would call, leave my number, and he would call me back if I was at a pay phone mm -hmm. and would arrange a meeting where I, I would tell him, okay. The truck is full. It's over there by the diner. He would find it there, have one of the guys who worked for him pick it up, take it somewhere, empty it. And I would meet him once a week and he would pay me. He always paid me in $100 bills. It was interesting because if I was dealing with thieves and car thieves and drug dealers, I could tell what kind of business they were in. Because if a guy paid me with $100 bills, he either took the drug money and laundered it and got big bills, or he wasn't in the drug business. But if a guy gave me a whole bunch of 20s and 10s and all, I could pick it up and smell it. I could smell that it was drug money. <laughs> I what could about? smell, yeah. With but, Roy's too? No, Roy's money wasn't drug money. No. I dealt with other guys who was drug money. Oh, okay. So uh, I never said a word to him about it because I, it was telltale, you know, details of what people were doing, how he dressed. He did want guns off me, so I had gotten a few guns once in a while, sold him some, sold him some guns, you know. So this whole business went on for like a year or so. And eventually, because I was in the chop chop business, 77, 78, 79, and I got through that point where they, Detroit was making the smaller cars. So the thing about that was, over the years, way back, you could buy a 72 or 73 car and for a couple of years, those parts would fit a 74, 75. But once they retooled in Detroit and made the smaller versions of the cars. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. This clip came from one of my interviews I did in the past. Please hit subscribe if you want to get more clips like this. Also, if you want to watch the full interview, I'll put a link in the description. Or you can hit the button on the screen to watch the full 